Drivers had a rough commute this morning, and we could be in for another round of tough driving tomorrow as all the melted snow on and the moisture on the road surfaces right now freezes overnight. Today, Air 12 found abandoned cars along the roads in the West Hills. Let's get straight to Fox News. Kelsey Watt. She's live tonight with a couple other crashes that we saw there in the snow and the ice. Kelsey? Well, here in the Portland area, luckily we didn't see a lot of major issues out on the freeways. The same, though, cannot be said for smaller roads here on the west side of Portland. And this is a good reminder to be especially careful as you're heading out tomorrow morning. I knew it was bad, so I was going pretty slow. But uh, as I came around this corner, the car just took off. There was no stopping it. This is Dan Carabello's black Mercedes, now toppled onto its side in a ditch off Germantown Road, just north of Old Germantown. He says the road was covered in ice around 530 this morning, and he was going very slow. But when he came to this curve, there was nothing he could do. Kind of turned sideways, and I went sideways into the ditch. That was that. The other two cars behind me followed me right in. He's OK, but the airbags on the sides both went off. And for a while, he was stuck inside, hanging upside down by the seatbelt. There were a couple guys that got me out of They didn't want me to stay in the car because other vehicles were coming down and they were concerned that somebody was going to plow into me. It was also a wintry mess a little farther east on Germantown, just past Skyline. People kept trying to come, even though I was saying it's not safe, just turn back around and they thought they could make it, and this is the result. Car after car slid out on the ice, and a row of tow trucks were pulling drivers out of ditches. Nathan Williamson was one of them. There was just a line of cars. Someone decided to just stop in the middle of the road. They didn't want to keep coming up, so I came to a complete stop right here, and then it was just ice, and I slid right down because of the incline. A tough morning in conditions that proved too much. It's a helpless feeling, you know, and I'm, I'm a professional driver. 35 years now behind the wheel. Never had a major accident. And that driver you just heard from there works for Derry Gold. He is also a Lyft and Uber driver. So now he's out of that income while he sorts all this out. He believes his car is now totaled and he told us he just got it last month. So a good reminder again to take things slow out there tomorrow morning. Watch out for spots of ice. And if you can keep your commute to well traveled roads like the freeway here behind us. This is where crews will likely already have things down like de-icer, sand and salt. Live in Southwest Portland, Kelsey Watts, Fox 12 Oregon.